Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Stevens, a.k.a. The Bookie Killer, back with Sports Betting 101. After all, with sports betting becoming legal in all these states, there's a lot of new amateur sports bettors out there that need to be taught all about sports betting and how to make money doing it. Remember, a lot of people do this for a hobby. This is how I put my kids through college. I've made tens of millions of dollars betting sports. There's more money to be made in sports betting than any other investment in the world. So I'm back with Sports Betting 101. These are profitable betting strategies that I want to teach you guys. Never increase your unit size because of a recent loss. Do not make a bet you did not plan on making earlier. Plain and fucking simple. Only bet under good circumstances, rested, calm, low stress, sober, and time to research or handicap. You got to independently look at every single game. You don't just bet another game because you lost the previous game. That's not how money management is done. So remember, if you lose a game or you win a game, don't bet another game that you never planned on betting, period. In the world of finance, many professionals use the phrase risk management, money management, interchangeably. Our goal is to preserve our capital on hard-earned money. After all, it's very hard to earn this money. You want to make sure you keep it and manage it the right way. We want to minimize the chance for loss, ladies and gentlemen. One thing that really strikes me that I never do, which 90% of sports bettors do, is chasing. Never chase, replace. And when you replace, make sure it's at the right time, not based on a stressful, fucked up situation because you lost. Chasing or increasing bet size based on your last bet or a series of bets is not recommended at all. It's how you'll get your ass in the poorhouse. Eventually, a bad streak occurs and you're betting a recklessly large amount of money to recoup losses. And that's never good, ladies and gentlemen. You should always think about the type of investor that you are, or you should always have planned out the money management system and what you bet per game. You never bet uh, 500 on this game, 300 on another, and 200 on the third. Because if all you win is the $200 game, you're fucked. Money management is very key. You bet the same amount of money on every game, and you bet one game a day and not every day type deals. The whole idea in this business is to build a bankroll and bet more money on less games. Does that make any sense to you? You guys out there that are playing three games a day, 21 games a week, betting parlays, reverse search, reverse that. I'd rather get rode by my girl, reverse cowboy, because that's at least going to get me a nut at the end of the day. You guys are going into the poorhouse. You know what I mean? Are you an aggressive better? Are you conservative? Are you experienced? Are you a beginner? Are you a novice? The answers to these questions will help you determine the size of your typical bet. This is what they call your unit. How much money you bet per game. Somebody calls you up, what do you normally bet in a game? Nickel, dime, that's your unit size. So once again, guys, if you're playing with a $1,000 bankroll, your unit size should be $250 per game, plain and simple. Now, I'm sure you've heard stuff from other people, but do you want to hear chit-chat or you want to take it from a guy that's fourth generation born and raised in Las Vegas that actually bets six figures on the fucking games versus these little guys on Instagram giving tutorials and telling you how to bet when the guy doesn't even live in Vegas, let alone make sports bets. Men lie, women lie, numbers and results don't. That's why I've been in the same location 16 years, documented on CNBC as the best in the world. Here's another thing that I want to talk about. Never bet with your heart. I don't give a fuck if you live in Oakland and you want to bet on the Raiders. When you see a matchup that you love, it sometimes is very, very tempting to bet a large amount of your bankroll on. However, it's very important to resist this fucking urge. Stick to your betting unit and exactly the same amount of money on every game, no matter what. With all these games out there, like I said, we're betting sports to make money not to sit down on the couch and root your team in. Like I said, there's many situations where I'm not even watching the games that I have gigantic money on. Remember, it's my gray for your payday. So I'm just like a shark. When I smell blood, I attack. And I'm on the fucking prowl on these bookies left and right, and I want to educate you guys on how to get this money. And if you want any help from me, 
Call me 877-220-6540. I'll show you money management and discipline like you've never seen before in your life. After all, let's not see the players be the only ones to get paid this season. Fair enough?